20-year-old Mahogany Jackson was reported missing Sunday, February 25th, 2024, after messaging her family that she was being held hostage in southwest Birmingham, Alabama. Mahogany said that she was being held hostage and to send police. She shared her location with them on her cell phone. Mahogany's mother, Gail Maddox, said she was on her way to pick up family from the airport in Atlanta when her other daughter called her and said she'd received a disturbing message from Mahogany. Family members rushed to the location, as did Birmingham police. Mahogany was nowhere to be found at Serenity Apartments in Birmingham's Powder League community when police and family members showed up there. The resident of the apartment, a female Mahogany knew, finally allowed them inside, but they did not see Mahogany. That woman told police Mahogany had been there, but had left at 2 a.m. The search for Mahogany that was set for 9 a.m. was called off. Around 2.19 a.m. Monday, February 26th, a passerby called Birmingham 911 to report a body on the side of the road at 17th Street Southwest and Laurel Avenue. Birmingham Police and Birmingham Fire and Rescue Services responded. Mahogany Jackson was pronounced dead on the scene from a gunshot wound. Sergeant Laquita Wade confirmed the victim's identity and said the family had been notified. Birmingham police are investigating the city's 15th murder of 2024. And this case may end up being about more than a homicide. WVTM 13's Lisa Crane, live and local at police headquarters tonight. Lisa, can you tell us the latest on this case? Well, this started out as a missing persons case yesterday, but before Mahogany Jackson's friend and fa friends and family could even get out and search for her today, it turned into a homicide. According to her mother's social media post, 20 year old Mahogany Jackson leaves behind a young daughter. They had planned to search for her today, but the case took a tragic turn before daylight. Just after 2 a.m., South Precinct officers received a call of a deceased person. When officers arrived on the scene, they observed um, an adult female lying unresponsive, suffering from an apparent gunshot wound. Birmingham Fire and Rescue arrived on the scene and pronounced the victim deceased. Authorities identified the body as Mahogany Jackson. According to social media posts made by her mother, Jackson had texted her family before 8 on Sunday morning asking for help, saying she had been kidnapped and even sent a pin of her location. Police aren't saying at this point whether they think she was killed where her body was found or at another location. Right now, we don't have any information of um, neighbors hearing any gunshots. So right now, we're unsure if it occurred here. We do not have any reports of unknown vehicles coming through the area, but we will definitely check for cameras in the area. Now, police haven't said if they've made any arrests in the case, but they are asking anyone with any information to contact them. Welcome back in. We have an update to that breaking news. We've been following all morning out of Birmingham. We've just learned a woman's body was found on the side of the road at the corner of 17th Street and Laurel Avenue Southwest just after 2 a.m. They said she suffered from gunshot wounds and police say a passerby saw the body and called 911. As of now, police don't know if the woman was shot at that location. If you have any information on this or asked to call Birmingham police or Crime Stoppers, we'll continue to follow this breaking news throughout the morning. Say they have people detained for questioning and a missing persons case that has ended in tragedy. Someone found the body of 20 year old Mahogany Jackson early this morning. It's awful news for the family and police are now ruling this a homicide and they're telling us no charges have been filed in this case as of yet. Her body was found on 17th Street Southwest and Laurel Avenue just after two this morning. Rhea Chapman is live and on your side with what we know now, including an important clue from Jackson, Bria. 
Yeah, that's right, Morgan. So this is a heartbreaking story, and Birmingham police say they are investigating this as a homicide. But right now, officers are working to figure out who is responsible for this young woman's woman's death. Now, again, we know they have, quote, individuals detained for questioning, but there have been no formal arrests. Now, earlier this morning, our Jillian Brooks was able to speak to Mahogany Jackson's mom shortly after her body was found. Now, her mother says that Jackson is the mother of a three year old little girl named Nadia who sadly now will grow up without her mom. Mahogany was reported missing last night around 11 o'clock and sadly her body was found this morning with a gunshot wound. Now that is all according to Birmingham police but what happened between last night and this morning is still unclear but police did confirm that the victim text her mother text her family saying that she was in danger and may have been held somewhere against her will. Right now, we don't have any information of um, neighbors hearing any gunshots. So right now, we're unsure if it occurred here. We do not have any reports of unknown vehicles coming through the area, but we will definitely check for cameras in the area. Police arrested two women in the afternoon on February 26th in connection to Mahogany Jackson's disappearance and death. 26-year-old Tasia Emery Monique Lewis and 23-year-old Sanaya Jare McCall were both charged with first degree capital murder during kidnapping. Rest in peace, Mahogany Jackson. My deepest condolences to the family and friends. This is Gail at Night. Thank you all for watching and thank you for supporting. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe, hit the notification bell and set the bell to all.